So there are a couple of reasons why you could want to pick up a GPU for under £50. You could be a system builder, building budget computers like the one I showcased in my last video. You can click the link here to see that. Or your GPU might have broken and you need a replacement in a pinch. Or maybe you just want a GPU for a secondary PC if you travel a lot. So here it is, the ultimate GPU that you can reliably source and buy for under £50 shipped. Through looking online, it became apparent to me that AMD GPUs seem to lose their market resale value slightly faster than Nvidia GPUs, even if they do have equal gaming performance. So this is where I began my search, and it's also where I ended it, when I found this graphics card available for sale on AliExpress. So obviously, to get a great graphics card under £50, you're going to need to be buying a second-hand graphics card. However, I wanted to be sure that wherever I sourced the GPU had plenty in stock from multiple sellers at a similar price. And so this is one of the reasons I went with this graphics card rather than a lucky bargain find on eBay. This graphics card is the AMD RX 470 released in 2016 with four gigabytes of GDDR5 and a core clock of 1,226 megahertz built on the 14 nanometer process. When it was released in 2016, it was considered to be a capable 1080p gaming card that would help gamers break into PC gaming on a budget, costing only 137 pounds. That was when it wasn't being marked up ludicrous amounts thanks to cryptocurrency mining. Thanks guys. So now that this card has more than halved in price, does it still perform well? To test that, I'll be putting this GPU into a system powered by an AMD Ryzen 3600, paired with 32 gigabytes of DDDR4 memory. That way we can be certain we won't be facing any bottlenecks whilst testing this GPU. So with that out of the way, how about we have a look at how this card performs? So our benchmark results have been fairly underwhelming, but that was to be expected because let's face it, this graphics card only costs 50 pounds. Since this card was originally intended for 1080p gaming, we will be running all our benchmarks and games at 1080p, utilising either medium or high settings depending on the title. And so from our benchmarks we can see that when paired with a decent CPU, in this case a Ryzen 5 3600, you can actually get reasonably decent results. You can achieve 60fps gaming at 1080p for less than £50. As we demonstrated in our last video, a weaker CPU will bottleneck this card, so you might not get optimal results if you are using a weaker CPU, so potentially look into any bottlenecks you may have. I was particularly surprised by PUBG, where we saw a consistent 60 plus FPS with 0.1% lows at pretty much 30 FPS, giving us a really smooth and playable experience. However, this is more likely due to having a strong CPU in the system rather than astounding performance of the card. However, every single one of the games that I tested and played were more than playable with relatively few stuttering issues, as well as, for the most part, reaching our target of an average 60 frames per second in every game. So whilst our benchmarks show fantastic results for a card that didn't even cost £50 including postage, they don't quite tell the complete story. Buying from AliExpress does certainly come with some risks. Whilst this listing claims that this GPU has never been used for mining, we have no way of verifying whether or not that is actually the truth. And so we don't know how much stress and strain this GPU, and as well as its fans, have been under. And since this is a used card, we also don't get any of the original retail packaging. In fact, this card came wrapped tightly in bubble wrap in a small cardboard box with just a power adapter as an accessory not to mention having to wait more than 30 days for the shipment of this GPU. So whilst it was free delivery and free shipping from China to the UK, I certainly wouldn't say I was overly impressed with the quality of the shipping packaging because for a graphics card, I would have wanted a little bit more. But possibly the biggest compromise of AliExpress buying is you cannot count on the warranty. If you buy this GPU and it dies on you, which it potentially could because let's face it, it hasn't gone through the best shipping method as well as the fact it could well have been used for mining. I wouldn't count on AliExpress or XFX to come to your rescue and back you up with a warranty replacement if something does go wrong. So it really is up to you whether or not you feel that those compromises are worth it in order to get the best bang for your buck gaming. So that just leaves one thing. Do I recommend this graphics card? Does it get my recommendation? And the sad truth is no. Whilst I definitely think that this is an amazing value, I also don't think this is the right card to go with. 
I'll still argue that this is a great card for under £50. However, if you can stretch just a few more pounds over that £50 mark, you can pick up an RX 480 or an RX 570 from AliExpress, which will see you get an improvement in FPS for very little additional investment. So if your budget is 100% strict at £50, go ahead and get this card. But if you can just edge out a few pounds more, then perhaps maybe just, just spend those few extra pounds so you can get a slightly better graphics card. And so guys, if you did enjoy this video, then please be sure to leave a like down below this video because it really does help me out a lot. And it also helps me know that you enjoy this type of content. And if you think you can find, reliably, a better GP for the, for the money, then make sure to leave that in the comment section down below and then potentially I'll check it out. So thank you guys all for watching and I will see you in the next video.